Hey everyone, I'm Joey with Joey's Balloon Company. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a two balloon unicorn. You're gonna need a few things before getting started. One is a dual action hand inflator. The next thing you'll need are two 260 balloon twisting balloons. Both of those items I have links to in the description below, so feel free to check those out if you do not have those on hand. Another thing you'll need is a Sharpie for drawing the character face on your unicorn. And the last thing you'll need is to like this video for the YouTube algorithm because it really really helps our channel and it's a small free thing that you can do to show your support. You can also subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time we post a balloon twisting or balloon decorating tutorial. Remember you can slow this video down or pause it at any point if you need to practice a little bit on a certain part. So hit that like button, gather your supplies, and let's get started. First we're going to make the body of the unicorn which I'm going to use a lighter color for. We're going to blow it up to about three to four finger lengths tail. To start this shape off, we are going to make a one inch bubble and turn that into an ear twist. The way that we make an ear twist right off the bat using the nozzle is to grab the nozzle, pull it towards this twist right here with one hand, and then with your free hand, lift up the one inch bubble and twist two or three times to create that ear twist. Next, we're gonna make another one inch bubble and turn that one also into an ear twist, and these are going to be the unicorn's lips. Make a bubble, fold that balloon down, pinch together on the sides, lift up your one inch bubble, twist around a few times, and there you have two ear twists right off the bat. Next, we're gonna make the head of the unicorn, which I usually make about two inches long. At this point, I can probably squeeze the balloon to soften it just a little bit. Two inch bubble. Now we're gonna do the same thing that we did down here and make two consecutive ear twists or pinch twists. There's one bubble. Fold it over, pinch the sides, lift it up and twist it around a few times. We also need another one, so we will make another one inch bubble. I usually take two fingers and put them on both sides of my already completed ear twist, take my thumb and squeeze on the part of the balloon that has the tail on it because air has room to flow through there. Push on that end and try to push as close to this joint as possible. Lift up that one inch bubble and then twist it around to make it an ear twist. So now we have the unicorn head. We have the lips, the head, and the two ears. Now we're gonna make the back of the neck. I usually make it about the same size that I made the head, maybe a little bit longer. Now, similar to a lot of animals, I'm going to make one leg, then the other front leg, the body, one leg, the other back leg, and then the tail. To make the front leg, I'll make mine about three inches or about the same size as the back of the neck here. Fold the rest of the balloon up, squeeze it together and twist the front legs around to complete them. Now we're gonna make the body, I'd say make it four to five inches. Same thing with the back legs. Make a twist, fold the rest of your balloon up. Squeeze it together and twist around your back legs. Now I have kind of a long tail here. I can either keep it like this, I can bend it a little bit to give it a little bit more shape. Or if it's just entirely way too long, you can use the quick break method and shorten it down a little bit. Your design looks kind of like the basic balloon twisting dog at this point, but don't fret, we've got another color coming and once we add this one, this is really gonna make your balloon unicorn look magical. Inflate your second color, just two or three pumps. We're gonna be doing a quick break at the end of this, so it only really needs to be about eight inches long. So now we're going to start with the unicorn horn, which we will make in pink. 
or whatever your second color is. So as you could see, you could easily make this into a horse and not a unicorn just by not adding this horn right here and just starting with your nozzle tied into this joint and then doing the hair on the back of the neck and then also the bridle slash reins. I'm going to squeeze this balloon to soften it a little bit. I want the horn to be about the same length as the head, so about two inches. Now I'm going to put this twist in with this joint here where the ears are on my unicorn by sliding this in. And if I need to put pressure on anything, I'm gonna put pressure on this piece because air has room to go down through this balloon. I'm going to push this into this joint and then take the back half of my pink balloon and twist it around the ears at least once. I want to orient this so that the horn is coming out the front, the two ears are on either side, and the rest of my balloon is coming out the back of the ears where I can go down the back of the neck to create an additional design for the mane. You don't have to orient it at this point. A lot of times I just twist all of the bubbles that I need to twist and then at the very end orient everything how it needs to be. But as you're learning, I would say go ahead and orient it as you go along so that you can see how everything's going to be put together. Now I'm going to make three consecutive one inch bubbles with this pink balloon and twist my last twist of my consecutive bubbles into this joint here that's holding the front legs to the neck and the body. Once I have my three consecutive bubbles, I'm going to push this twist in with this joint here. I'm just going to twist around the back of the unicorn body and the rest of my pink balloon all at once so that they're twisted together. At this point, we are done with the inflated aspect of our pink balloon, so we can go ahead and use the quick break method, and we want to leave at least a little bit of room here for us to wrap around the excess balloon that we break off, just so that it doesn't deflate on us. After you quick break, make sure to save this piece because we're gonna use the deflated part of this balloon. I have a little bit of excess here and I'm going to stick it in between the legs. Wrap it around a few times. Maybe stick it through the legs again. I don't need to tie this off as long as I can twist it around this joint enough so that it's not going to come undone or deflate any of the inflated aspect of the pink balloon. So here we are, it's kind of starting to look like a unicorn. Take your scrap that you have with your second color balloon and we are going to make a double knot with this. There's one knot. And there is two knots and we're gonna make a big circle with this. We're gonna use this as the bridle and the reins of this unicorn. I usually take this tie and I put it in the back of the neck here so that it's less noticeable. I grab my unicorn head and with my other hand, I lift it up above the horn and put this right above the top lip. This extra scrap here pulls the head into the neck a little bit, which gives it a little bit better of a shape, personally, I think, than if we were to just leave it alone. It's also impressive to kids and adults when we use uninflated balloons along with our inflated balloon design. It provides a little bit more texture and gives the appearance of being a little bit more elaborate. Once you've finished with your inflated balloon shape, take your Sharpie and draw some character eyes on it. So here you have your unicorn. If this has been helpful for you, don't forget to like this video. It's a small, free way you can show your support for our channel. You can also subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time we post a new balloon twisting tutorial or balloon decorating tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your balloon unicorn. I'm Joey. I'll see you next time.